between the press and everybody saying that it's not going to last, it was constantly biting at her. But she didn't want to be like her mother, a divorcee. She was going to prove that she could do it. Do you believe in total fidelity? Do I believe in what? Total fidelity? Being faithful? Oh, I am faithful. That's why I got married. Told you. <laughs> when I got married, if... Yeah, <laughs> I think I got it. I hope so. Were they in love, do you think? They loved each other, but a strange love. I think she might have believed she was in love with Bobby, but I really think it was more of a codependent relationship. To the point where Bobby Christina was even left out. Somewhere around the bodyguard tour, 93, 94, I remember her not showing up in the rehearsals. And then when she came, she would struggle with her voice. It wasn't the Whitney I knew. There was definitely agitation. All of the noise around her, all of the things coming at her, she just wanted to escape the pressure. Can we talk a bit about Whitney's drug problem? When did that... I don't want to talk about that. That has nothing to do with this documentary or anything that I want to speak about. Okay, so you don't want to talk about it. But obviously, it's not at all. It's the thing that killed her, so it's important, isn't it? That's not what killed her. Whenever you were with Whitney, were you taking drugs every day? Hell yeah, every day. A lot every day. Shit that usually kills motherfuckers and you survive it, so you keep rocking. <laughs> what about Bobby? Let's just say Bobby was fucking lightweight <laughs> when it came to motherfucking drugs. Bobby was not someone who could do a, yo, know, we surpassed Bobby fucking by lapping him. <laughs> Trust me. What was Whitney's drug of choice at that time? I'm sure it was cocaine, you know, Mar marijuana it. and cocaine. Um, I'm sure she smoked it inside the marijuana. If you can't talk about drugs, that makes it very hard to talk about the last years of her life. Mm. I think we just talked about her life, you know? Drugs has nothing to do with her life. She was kind and soft and sweet. And then she was somebody different. Come on. For those out there. You know, uh, I just heard some shit. What'd you hear? I heard somebody, somebody said, you know, there's supposed to be a paper coming out saying, I had sex with little Kim. Hey, you had what? Who's going to be? Then I have that. <laughs> Come on now. Cameraman, I wouldn't fuck her with yours. Oh. I wouldn't fuck her with mine, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I would fuck her with mine. <laughs> she started canceling dates. I can recall one particular time she was scheduled to perform in California. And she was in California. But she was at the airport sitting on a jet. They had been getting high. And Bobby made the phone call saying, Tell the promoters to bring over X amount of dollars and we'll show up. I said, well, that ain't going to happen. So y'all might as well take off then, because that ain't going to happen. That ain't how it works. You know, that is not how it works. Ain't nobody bringing you over a bag of cash. Everything began to spiral out of control. I talked to her father. I talked to her mother. I talked to Donna Houston. Every person that you're going to interview... <laughs> And I was able to get Sissy to do an intervention. First of all, we walked in to do it, and Whitney was stoned. And then after it was over, when she had agreed to go to rehab, she phoned her father, and he told her, you don't have to go. Why didn't Sissy do more? She didn't want Whitney mad at her. Because she'd already been mad at her earlier in her life. Yeah. And when she tried, she would go up to her house, but Whitney wouldn't let her in. You had to get permission to go through that gate. 
Why would nobody confront the situation? Money, their jobs, their nice houses, their access to other celebrities, the fact that, in my opinion, they had no marketable skill set other than being a Houston or related to a Houston. I mean, that's a lot. That's hard to give up. They probably felt, I guess, a little bit in their defense that she's choosing to do this. Why should I give up my lifestyle?